I was getting ready to work, so I decided to use all MAC products. Not work work, but MAC work. I've been using Stroke Cream a lot as my moisturizer, and I find that it really illuminates the skin, and it makes it really perfect and smooth and supple when you're putting on foundations. Starting off on my eyes, so I'm using Soft Ochre Paint Pot on my lids. And the first color I'm using is Texture, but of course. Make sure that you're blending this out with a fluffy brush. This is going to help all the other colors transition and blend out just much more smoother and easier. Next is Red Brick eyeshadow, and I'm using that on my outer crease, not to really deepen it, but really to add more of an orangey color to it. To help deepen it, I'm using Brown Script on the outer crease. Next is Patina. This is like a really like uh, boring gold, I guess, but on lighter skin tones, it looks really, really pretty. And then this is handwritten, and I'm using that on my crease to deepen it. Use an oldie but goodie black track as my liner. I'm using a really teeny skinny brush. Um, I'll put the link to the brush below because this one's actually really good for precise liners. I used to use an angle one, but I, now I like these little pointy ones best. Put that all up in there to get it perfect. Huh. Now I'm using this duo from Anastasia Brow. And a few girls asked me how I do my brows, and I'm just going to show you. Brush them up, and then I start at the very base and draw my angle. And then I fill in really <laughs> at the corner. <laughs> and then I brush up and fill in as they go without adding too much product. Then here I have like, my eyebrow goes down, so I have to create that hair to go up to look a little thicker. And then I clean up with my skin tone concealer, not like 10 shades lighter and blend it out with my brush and then my finger. And this just, I, I find that it gives it really crisp without looking extra, if you know what I mean. Now I'm putting on a ton of mascara. This is my favorite mascara and it leaves the curl because it's a waterproof formulation. I squeeze some Pro Longwear Concealer and then I put some Stroke Cream still to make it mix together nicely and just still have that iridescence to it. But all over my face with the Real Techniques brush. Now I'm using Studio Finish Concealer and I think it was NC40. Um, no, that, I don't remember. I think it's NC40. I'm just putting it on any of my scars. I usually put it around my nose because I get really red around there. And um, on my humbles. The bad thing is that you can't hide texture. You can only hide the color. So as much as I want to hide it, there's no hiding it. Now I'm using the concealer Pro Longwear in NW25, which one of um, the girl I work at MAC with, she told me I should use this, and I love it. It's It looks really good. It doesn't look weird. Um, it looks lighter. But I used to use NC35 a lot, and I'm going in between both. I wanted to go a little extra, <clears throat> so I used Bright Forecast Highlighter Pen from MAC um, underneath my eyes and all the high points of my face. Pre-bronzer is very scary, but I used Shade Stir, which is a pro sculpting powder all over my temples and my cheekbones. Jeez! To bring more color to my face and then also just to blend down to make sure it all looks cohesive. I used Floor Power as my blush, which I didn't show, but I'll put all the um, products that I use in the description box. I always do with my colors and my tones and everything else that I miss. For instance, this one, which is one of the dust in those little tubs that 
uh, Mac has, I just forget the name. It's like the gold one. And I just blended it out with a concealer brush. These, I believe, are 33s. I could be wrong, but they're like mini baby 35s. And what I like to do is put um, glue onto the back of a little wand or my back of my tweezers and then make a line all along the lash line where I'll put my lashes and still glue on the lashes. And then when it dries, it just does not budge at all. It's the best foolproof way to like not have your lashes falling out at the end of the day. And then make sure that you're hiding that some of that shiny glue with the gel that we used before. And then just push up your lashes when they're dry. This is going to still make it look more natural when they're curled. I'm going to put some of that dusting in the inner corners of my eyes. Again, I'll put the list of all of the products that I used on my face in the description bar below. Because there wasn't enough, I like to use Cold Deposit on my face with this awesome e.l.f. brush. It's my favorite. And then I put uh, mascara on my lowers. I got some on my face. Don't mind me licking my own napkin. <laughs> this is Fixed on Drama, part of the Retro Matte Lipstick Collection. And I'm putting that on first before I'm using Night Moth. I like to do that sometimes because the lip liner could be a little tough and the lipstick makes it a little bit smoother so you can make a really sharp edge. I had to fix my lip so just don't be afraid to etch out the shape where you need it. I hope you guys learned something here whether it's how to put lipstick on or the eyelash trick or something. But let me know if you liked it by hitting the like button or requesting something in the comment section. Bye girls.